Generic greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect Warden Mode. In the previous series, we managed to make a fairly all-encompassing prison that had close to, if not every building in the game, as well as all prisoner types, ranging from the protective custody and low risk up to the supermax and death row. We had good security, good reform and education, good health, good bank balance towards the end, and hopefully good amounts of fun, which is obviously what the series is about. However, one thing you may be able to level at the series, and indeed the prison, in terms of criticism was it was a bit pedestrian and a bit safe. We didn't really get a lot of high risk prisoners uh, at the start it was more towards the end that we got that and we did over egg it when it comes to the the armed guards and such so it wasn't really um, that risky and I wanted to change that with the series and indeed that's what we'll be doing via various methods which I'll go through now so standard construction series format going through planning and building a prison however this time we're going to be doing the warden mode and we're going to knock the difficulty up a notch by the mutators as well as some of the options that we're going to turn on. Now, I'm not going to put permadeath mode on, which I know a couple of people requested, and the reason, well, the reasons are many, but the main couple of reasons are A, although you might think it is accurate, and indeed it is, the problem with it is that, say for example, we're wandering down a corridor and a prisoner comes out of nowhere with a volatile trait that we don't know about and bang, we've been shanked, that's the end of the series. The series that you hopefully have been enjoying is now over with. So although it's accurate and indeed quite interesting for the first 10 seconds of the event, after that, well, not so much. Also, towards the end of the series when we do our extreme testing, that's not possible because as soon as we die once, that's it, you can't do it anymore. So that's why we're not going to do permadeath. I'm going to do a small prison uh, size because I just prefer... It. I know the dimensions of things and stuff like that and what we can fit in and then we'll expand on. Um, every prison uh, every prisoner that we're going to have will be high risk or above, so high risk, supermax, legendary, as well as death row. And because of that, I'm not going to do a female prison. I was thinking of doing that, but that adds an additional layer of complexity when it comes to the amount of buildings you have, because you have to have family cells. So I'm not going to be doing that, however, I do have a female uh, prison plan in mind, which I'll get to at some point, and that's when we'll do uh, additional mutators with them as well. But we're going to do a standard male prison here. Warden, I'll come back to. In terms of the options we're going to turn on here, we're going to have Fog of War on, Forests on, we are... Hmm. Don't think we're going to build with lakes, it does say warning experimental, so we'll leave that. Buildings, no. Failing conditions are going to be on, gangs are going to be on, events are going to be on, weather and temperature is going to be on, uh, staff needs, unlimited funds, and enable tools and cheats are off. Now, you might think, well, why don't we go for staff needs? That's an additional layer of complexity, but the problem is that in my experience, it's just a bit broken. It doesn't seem to work too well now and again. It, it, well, it works okay for the majority of the time, but then, for whatever reason, you will get this glitch where these trays won't go back, or it'll be unassailable signed and problem it'll just be problematic and um yeah it's not it's not ideal although you know what that was a patch ago oh go on we'll turn it on we'll see if we can deal with that one we'll go to mutators and let's see what sort of things we can add on here so you've got extra challenge lightening the load changing the rules as well as something different now there's many things we could turn on but the overall theme is to get a more a more varied um more varied prisoners, but also more extreme prisoners as well. So we could th put things like the big house on, which all prisoners are legendary, but my problem with that is when everybody's legendary, then nobody's legendary. Like, when everyone's special, nobody's special. It doesn't really mean anything when you've got everybody as that. It does say good luck. Same as the gang warfare. When everybody's a gang member, eh, it's not overly interesting because it's just a bit iffy. But what we what do want to do is get more traits in here. So things like the good stuff. Uh, prisoners who take drugs and alcohol will randomly gain a reputation trait, making them progressively more difficult to deal with so that's something that I think is quite interesting acid rain no volatile prisoners now that's probably more more annoying for you to watch because there's just gonna be flashing red circles all over the place saying there's violence and yeah that's not gonna be something we want to do uh, needy prisoners is um the needs of the prisoners will increase a far greater rate. That's not too bad. We do want to have more contraband, though, which is uh, more contraband is smuggled into the prison, and prisoners are far more likely to steal contraband when given the opportunity. So we're going to have that one on. That's the only two options we're going to have on the extra challenge, but we're going to add some more here. So things like all reputations revealed, I'm going to turn that on. Now, you might be thinking, well, that makes it easier, but I would argue that actually it could go the other way. If you have a prisoner that turns up and they've got an unknown trait, you can't really do much about it other than try and find that trait out as soon as possible. However, if you know what the traits are then you well if you can measure it then you have you know if you can't measure it you can't manage it but if we know what it is then we have to do something about it so if we get snitches if we get ex-cops if we get uh, people with legendary status that we don't know about things like that then yeah it, it's something that we have to then deal with straight away so I would say that you could say that is uh, more difficult as well as easier it, it could, could go either way it depends which way you argue it either way we're going to turn that one on we're not going to put anything else on there same as changing the rules we're going to keep that as standard and then something different big head mode is 
is very, very interesting to see, but um, not for a series. Endless Winter, no, things like that. Uh, we're going to have no contraband limits, which I think is really going to knock the difficulty up, which is remove limits on the type of contraband that can be imported into the prison. So guns, mobs, uh, and clipboards, all fair game. Now, I don't know what this means. I don't know whether everything can be imported. So there's normally a list of things that can be smuggled in. I think this just opens that list up. What it may also say is that everything is legal. Like, if you find a mobile phone on someone in the game, then it gets taken off them, but they don't um, necessarily get put in uh, solitary because it's not classed as really extreme contraband. However... However, does this turn off those limits so everything is fine? I don't know. I, I assume it's the first one. I assume it's the former, which everything can be smuggled in, but we'll see how it goes. X reputations, very interesting. A range of new reputations, not just additional ones that are already seen, but, but these are going to be new ones that we've not seen before, so that uh, alters the behaviours and things like that, so that should be quite good. We've got other stuff on, like permanent day, or, or options rather, not on, and uh, we're going to leave that one. So yeah, overall, we're going to have the, the good stuff, more contraband, all reputations revealed, as well as X reputa reputations and and, uh, more uh, more contraband and no limits. So there we go. That's quite interesting, I think. Um, everything there is okay. And all, our prisoner, our, sorry, our warden, we've got many different types, but I'm going to go with uh, Safara Aknova because she gets a very, very good bonus of, um, well, a straight cut of the resale value for each piece of contraband found. And since we're going to have loads of contraband, then we'll make money quite easily. So let's click, click play and we'll crack on. So first things first, we're going to pause it, go over to the report uh, intake and then turn that off for now. We're also going to Turk off the, the min and med sec intake and max out of the max sec because that's the only type of prisoners we are going to get from the get-go. So first things first, we need to go to planning and then walls and we'll max the speed out and then we'll go to the top here and then we're going to build a wall all the way around. I'm not going to build the wall just yet because I want to plan it off. There's probably going to be no building in this episode. It's all going to be a bit of planning. We're not going to plan off everything meticulously because, quite frankly, in the warden mode it's very, very difficult but we'll do our best to plan a rough thing off anyway. So we'll just go around around get this built. We'll also have to measure the centre because I want to have all the prisoners in a central cell block and I'm also going to try and have it so that most of the interaction with the prisoners is um, well is quite limited quite frankly and we're gonna have a lot of automated doors and thing and things like that in here so let's just measure the rough center and I well I say rough center I believe it is the most accurate center which is 40 to there which that is correct so if I just go to the center again and measure down it should be 40 because it is an 80 by 88 I believe width so um, that is correct that's 40 there yeah that's fine so that's gonna be the central bit of the prison and we're gonna have as I said in the center here some like um some like uh well arm guards and things like that well we'll, we'll see actually i don't know if we're gonna have arm guards so we'll just do a rough measurement of the edge and i believe it is 88 but we'll see it's um to the edge it's 88 there so if we go 44 we should be a about in the middle. It's not entirely right because I'm measuring from the outside of the wall to the inside of the other one, so it's not entirely centralized. But as long as it's some, as long as it's roughly okay, then we're not too bothered about that. So there's the rough center of the prison. So we need to know that for um, our measurements when we do that later on. So what I want to do is just pause it for a second, go over to the rooms, go to deliveries, and we're going to change the deliveries and the garbage and stuff. So it doesn't really matter where we put this. I'm just going to quickly put them sort of an eight by four there. We'll put the garbage, same thing. 8 by 4 and also the uh, exports we'll have down the bottom as well so it'll be an 8 by 4 and then speaking of exports we're going to go over to dismantle and then we are going to dismantle all of these trees obviously we will get a lot of money from the lumber that we gain off that so that's quite useful at this stage so let's just get all these sold there will be a couple I've missed out naturally but um, I'll try and uh, get them on the second pass when we do this looks like there's not that many trees around here we're also going to try and make the prison not grey I'm going to try and use some different stonework and things but or, however I have a feeling it will end up like a like a, a shooter from the uh, mid 2000s and be brown and grey but hey ho we'll see how it goes go over to reports go over to grants and we'll get the basic detention centre grant as well as administration centre speaking of administration where are we going to put it well it's going to be difficult because we we have to have we have to have a lot of buildings around the outside because contraband can be flung in and it's going to be a distance of 10 from this wall so ideally we want a wall going all the way around the outside to um, to stop that so if we go for a measurement of 9 and then 10 that should be fine because it's going to be 11 from that wall actually we could probably reduce it to there as long as there's um no i think it is a distance of 10 but let's make let's make it 11 just for just for safekeeping so we'll say 
10 there, 11. So that should be the wall. So let's have a quick look at that. So it should be a 10 in the, no, 9 in the center, 9 in the center. That's fine. So that's going to be the dead zone going around. You can see immediately, though, how much space we are losing out. In fact, we're losing uh, a quarter of overall building space just by doing this. Um, so these will not just be walls. Like, we're not going to have this as just a wall because, quite frankly, we're, we're just losing far too much space. So we're going to have it as a... We're going to have it as a... Um, a set of rooms and such so all of this will be or most of it will be room at least that's the plan so that's nine to there so that'll go down and then all, all the way along here so these will be different buildings you see and then we'll have a fairly open area in the middle okay so we'll just double check that sizing that's nine that's fine okay so first things first we will have prisoners come in here this will be our entrance way so we'll have probably an entrance way going along like so and then we'll have rooms either side where we can have um well, different things, you see. So we'll have, like, corridors go either side. So, uh, oh, do we need that? Probably not. Probably not. We can actually do it like this and then just have a have an entrance here. And then this will be our, our area where we search people. Um, actually, we'll probably shrink that down a little bit. We don't need that large. That's probably about right. There we go. Uh, just <laughs> had to double check there. Did we turn off intake? Yes, we did. Okay, so... This is going to be our area where we search the prisoners. So this is the uh, reception. And then we're going to have an entrance there and there for various things. And I guess we'll expand on that um, by coming down. So coming down here, we'll have probably different offices. And we'll have one, two, three, four. Uh, that should be fine. That's an office. That's also far too big to be an office. But it doesn't really matter too much. So all of these are going to be around the outside. So one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's three, not four. Because we do know how to number one. Two, three, four, and we need a fifth. There we go, because we need a lawyer as well. That's fine. There we go. That actually fits in perfectly well for some reason. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our offices, and this is obviously a central corridor that goes... Um, well, not central corridor, a corridor that goes down here as well. That is fine. And then at the bottom, we'll have... Well, we can have all sorts of stuff. Uh, we also need a place for the prisoners to exit into the main part of the prison. But we also want, ideally, kitchen and canteen. I don't like the idea of having the ends as... Uh, this entire end as a canteen. Although we've never done like really, really, really long canteen. That could be an interesting one, actually. And if we go on the idea, where would we put it? Well... Assuming we're down here, we could have easily storage at the bottom. So this could be storage. So let's let's assume that that's going to be the case. So this could be storage. So we'll have a storage like that. Again, a bit too large, but not too much of a problem. That could be our storage there. And then we'll have... Um, hmm, do you want a storage there? Storage there, storage there. And then this... Um, actually, you know what we could do? We could just make it that... And that, and that could be our storage, you see. So you enter the storage in here, and this all this area will be storage. You'll go past it, and then this could be our kitchen, which will have various things in it. In terms of capacity, I'm aiming for about 80 to 100, no more than that, really, at this stage. Now, in terms of death row as well, probably not going to have death row to start off with. We'll probably expand on that to the left later on. I say left because it's the easiest way, and also, as you can see, we've uh, planned it, so it um, can only really be that way. So anyway, this is, we are assuming, going to be our our kitchen and canteen. We could have two kitchens and canteens. There's no reason why we can't, but... Um, Hmm, do we really want that? I don't know. Um, also, a lot of staff here, so we do need staff rooms. I'm trying to think what's the best way of doing this. We also have to have a really big staff room because of the because of the type of because uh, of the options that we've put on. Obviously, we've turned on the prisoner uh, the, the the staff needs as well. So we'd have to have a kitchen and canteen close to it. I'll tell you what we could do. We could have two kitchens and two canteens either side. Well, one either side and two in total. That could work. It could work. It could also not work, but we'll we'll only find out by trying it, right? So, let's assume, for now, that this is going to be a staff room, okay? Probably a bit too small, actually. Considering we have to have food in here as well. Um, 
Okay. You know what? I'm coming back to it. I, yeah. When in doubt, always just leave it and come back to it. You you might um you know find better idea have a better ideas later on. Okay. So in the center, this is going to be our um this is going to be our main cell block. So we want about a gap of I'd say about six around this facility so we'll have a gap of six like this and this is just going to be like um pathways like one two three four so it will be a path of four all the way around and then it's a fairly big cell block in the middle which we hope hope perhaps that it's going to be um that's six and that's six and let's hope it's going to be autonomous so we're not going to really go inside it much when we don't need to so it's going to be fairly big, actually, now that I've um, seen the size of the thing. Probably overly large, but let's just see what we can do. So there we go. That's six to there. Six to there. There we are. So multiple entranceways. There, there, and obviously the other side. Let me just have a quick measurement. And it is a total of 51. And 42. Strange, but that's just what it is. Okay, so a couple of entrance ways there, like so. And let's think about how we're going to do this. So we could just have, around the outside, we could have several cells like this. And obviously, these are going to be rated. We will have grading in this one as well. So we'll assume these are going to be graded, and then towards the center, it'll be um, more more of the standard size cells so just double checking it is a it is a four internal four internal all the way around this is a i think a new a new way of building for for me i've not I, not to my not to my knowledge have i made a prison like this before although to be fair my memory is not what it once was not after the incident uh so there we go there's four and four and four all the way around yes that's fine okay so we're gonna go with four before um until a certain point the point being this corner piece and that worked out absolutely perfectly so slightly larger ones in the corner that's fine i'm totally happy with that obviously we have to do what we can because of the the size differences in um hang, hang on hang on hang on hang on what have i done wrong what have i done wrong what's going on here what's going on ah ah because i'm an idiot that's what's happened ah okay right fine um i'll tell you what then i'll tell you what three and three then fours and then five yeah that works. Yeah, yeah. I think we can go with that. I don't think we'll lose too much sleep over that. And there we go. That's totally fine. Alright. Okay, so there. Hang on. Ah, this left-hand side will be different. It will be different because we know that it's um, a completely different size. And that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Far too big. So, three. Three. Four. And four. And no. So, three, three, and three, and a four would work. Okay. Slightly different, but we can handle that. Three threes, a four, and then your five. And obviously, these are just going to be four. These are standard as well. So, that's... um. A lot of space used, but that's fine. I can handle that. All right, so we want to probably a gap of four around here before we put the next section in. So that, I believe, is correct. We'll just put some measuring lines in. Already wrong. <laughs> uh, four, four. I can see that's four, and that's four as well. Okay, so there we go. Right, this is going to be um, similar, so we'll have another entrance bit here. So it's multiple levels, you see, of uh, multiple layers, rather, not really levels, multiple la layers of cell block. Um, so we'll have this going down and then across and then down, like this, you see. And this will be, again, the standard size cells. So there you go. And obviously we do have a central um, 
way in and out and around. So that should be, that is completely wrong. Now it is only half wrong. By the way, while I remember, I will go ahead and do this. That is going to be our central way to the left-hand side, the expansion side, you see. So, cells 2b2 all the way along. Apart from this bit, which is obviously have, going to have to be different. But that is fine. Um, I didn't sigh there going, Ugh. it's more of a case. Of, it is fine. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. Also, as you can see, these ones uh, managed to get two in as well. It's sometimes sometimes these ideas come together and it seems to be coming together quite well here. Obviously, I knew it was going to be a bit dodgy trying to make the uh, the different size cells, but no, I think it's actually going okay. So we now have a lot of area in the centre that we don't have much use for. Well, obviously, we don't have at the moment showers, but I'm having. I think we're going to have showers around the outside. So. It's a gap of four there, that's fine. And then if we did do uh, another central bit, what would it be? Well, ideally, the central bit would be a sniper tower, um, which we might put on the corners as well. I haven't yet decided. As I said, I'm trying to have this so it's uh, a prison that doesn't have anyone inside it. Like, this cell block, there's no guards in it. If that's the point. That's the idea. Whether or not we end up with that is debatable. Well, it's uh, really open to... Uh, well, we'll see, won't we? So let's have a 4x4 four four and we'll see what that gets us, which is almost certainly just a very small building in the middle. Um, don't really want to get rid of this central, but just in case we need to measure it again, but quite frankly... Oh, it doesn't really matter because we know that it just it, it crosses in there. So that's a 4, that's a 4, that's a 4, that's a 4. Um, what could we have in the centre? No, that doesn't really sit well with me. Um... Could have the showers in there. Probably too small for this sort of size. You know what we could do? We could have this as the outside. And have a... I guess we could make this the outside and have this as like a fairly big yard. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. So actually, this, this bit here, this bit here, and these corners are all internal and this is the outside. And that look quite good. Aesthetically, that'll be quite pleasing. Okay, yeah, I think we'll go for that. Might close it in though. I might close it in. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so there's that sorted. Right, back to uh, things like the offices and stuff like that. So we've already worked out that this is going to be our office area, um, which we should get on building actually, because then at least we will be able to uh, we'll be able to start researching. So I'm just going to make a quick office here, so it's obviously going to be uh, standard doors and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this will have um, enough for us to go there. Go over to rooms, office. That's done. Clicky drag. And obviously we do need things like final cabinet, office desk, chair, Job done. So that's our office. As soon as it gets built, we should assign straight away at Warden's office. There we are. Okay. Means we can go over to bureaucracy. We can start doing things like um, well, security, finance, maintenance, health, psychology, all of that sort of stuff. It's going to take a while, so there you go. Right. So that is our office. So let's assume we're going to have the... Well, we need visitation. We need all that sort of thing. Obviously, many, many rooms here that we could uh, use for all of that. Probably far too many rooms, actually. But different, different at least. I prefer different over uh, efficient. Actually, that's not that's not necessarily the case. But uh, in this instance, we'll, uh, we'll argue that point. So, we've got office in there. Many offices down the bottom. I'm still not entirely convinced that this is the place for... Still not convinced that's the place for that. Um, let's go a quick build, actually. Clone, get this cloned up. Put it in, like... Sure, we can't. We're going to have to put foundation building brick in. Actually, that office is... Oh, no, it is right. It is correct. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it is correct. It's just... For some reason, I couldn't... I couldn't even measure... Right, so... Quick build, clone... Clone the internal. Once it's built, we'll crack on with that. 
There you go. Just for the grant, you see, because obviously we're unlocking um, all sorts of stuff. Currently, finance is going to be the second last to research, even though we put it in the second, but hey-ho. CO's letter, we'll delete that. We don't read that these days. Um, so, we have... Entrance where offices will go down. Do need a fairly big area for the for the staff room. So let's expand that somewhat. It's fourteen perhaps. Thirteen. Fourteen. Like that. And then that'll be staff room. But not just that as well, we'll have an entrance where where this'll be a staff canteen. Staff canteen in here. Not too large. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then a little desk in the middle for for eating. Uh that should be fine. We can expand this if we need to. So this'll be where we have our canteen. Ah, oh, you notice though that if we did that, if we just did that, it would be much bigger. You just have a walk in they could just walk through the kit the, the the kitchen area. But it means kitchen staff walking through and it doesn't make it ideal. Okay, we'll tentatively go with that, okay? Size twelve for the for the kitchen. Let's just see what sort of objects we can get in. Eight cookers sorry, four cookers, eight cookers, um fridges and freezers there. Then washing at the back. That's not too bad. Um, what I'll do is I will go up and I will just keep the cursor where it is. And we're just going to put the same thing on this side. And then we know the spaces for the right hand side. It doesn't need to be symmetrical. Um, it's just, you know, preferable to being asymmetrical. That Did I knock that? Let me just double check. That's fine. Okay. So... Let's start working up the north area. So we do need storage and we need visitation. Well, visitation is easy to do. We just have, say, that. There's your visitation right there. We'll have an entrance way here, an entrance way here. It doesn't really matter. And then you have... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have the, uh, the blocked off ones. So... It's uh, like the one-way panel just to stop stuff being snuck in because I think that might be an issue. So we'll have that. there, uh, And you've got a total of... How much is that? 14, 2 aside, 7. 7. We'll make it 8. Make it 8. Um, so it'll be... Oh, actually. Let me remeasure that. I think I think that's right. Should be a total of 16. 8 aside. Yeah, that, that's fine. So that's um, okay. We then need an area for... Well, we've got... A big open area here so we'll have this as a storage although we do need somewhere to put the power uh, currently we don't have any power in the prison which is suboptimal hmm same as boilers actually we don't have boilers around the place which is the bane of my existence when it comes to uh, these sort of things um we could have the boilers in the center we could have like a utility building in here and inside we have two boilers, and then we put water either side. You don't need two boilers, actually, but we could do that. Um, but I was still thinking a sniper tower in the center would be would be ideal. Even though I said I don't want um, stuff in the center here, it would make sense. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to that later. Anyway, so we'll have on the top right here, we will have our probably storage, and then we'll have... Anything can go here. Probably, probably laundry. It's probably laundry going to go in here. Um, again, two massive rooms that we can have. We should probably have a 5x5, five 2x2, five, two two, then a boiler, and then that'll be the wall, and then you could have whatever there. Again, just, just, just different buildings for all sorts of um, needs. So in terms of the entranceway to... That's annoying. Um, the entranceway to the kitchen... We're going to obviously have a plan on one side and then we'll work it out on the other. So it's going to be five by... Damn it, that's not going to work out. So we're going to have our... I think we'll have our serving tables down the bottom there. We'll have probably a double entrance there or something. Seven tables down the bottom. We'll have a total of four like that. 
and then food will be distributed and that's not going to work out. These are just one too small in every direction, so it's going to be that. And just a really big long canteen, you see. Um, so we're going to have, well, we are going to have ones on either side. Five to there. Like that, maybe. 16, 32, 64. Yeah, that's big enough. No, no, no problems there at all. Okay, so that's going to be our canteen. And then we've got a load of other buildings around here, which we will almost certainly, actually what I will do for certain is hire an accountant. There we go. And we'll pause it. Go bureaucracy. Accountant will go for extra grant. It's always useful. Prison policy, micromanagement. We do want deployment intelligence, other things like that as well. But quite frankly, we will um, probably do that later on. Uh, deployment intelligence patrols. We need a lot actually, but let's just unlock those. Um, and then we need to build more offices on the right. So I'm not going to meticulously plan these buildings because, quite frankly, we've got so many that we it's sort of pointless. Um, I'll just have a, say, like a double entrance here and then we'll have um, a shower. So shower either side. Like that. Don't know why they haven't taken these logs away. That's going to be our shower. And then we've got all of this built, all of these areas here. So we'll have all of the standard buildings... So, things like your uh, your chapel, library, all that sort of gear. And also we need security and that sort of thing. But that's a tentative plan. I don't want to plan off too much more because obviously I realise that if we did that, the episode would be 15 hours long, which I know a lot of people would appreciate. But um, I think we're best off cracking on and uh, just seeing how it flows. I think that's the best way of doing it for the time being. Obviously get the officers, go for the extra grants. Think, speaking of extra grants, we do have another one. So short-term investment, always decent to pick up at this stage. As soon as we get the extra grants, which will be done in, um, well, a little bit of time. In fact, you know what, I'll just wait um, for that to finish and then we'll get the long-term investment. But yeah, that's our tentative plan. In terms of capacity, we've got uh, two, one, what was it, uh, two, four, no, um, is it the same? It is. So it is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, ten, sixty odd. I think sixty odd is a rough count. Rough count, sixty odd. But um, sixty to eighty was uh, the overall idea. If we wanted to, we could add some more in the center. It's no real problem. In fact, what we could do quite easily would be to double side these. So you just have that, um, and we just have um, long cells like that. Or even if we wanted to, there's a dorm. There's a dorm right there. Um, we just have a bed, bed, and bed like that. We could easily do that. And we might. But I'll leave that up to you. What do you think? Comment in the comments. Let me know. Um, and yeah, if, if, it, it's, if it's garbage, we'll, we'll redesign it. We won't redesign it. But um, I will make some design changes. But uh, we're going to go with this idea. But the, the actual detail parts? Well, let me know what you think. And why are those logs not being shifted yet? We do have exports. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, let me know what you think in terms of the overall uh, theme as well as the uh, all the separate bits. Let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.